um, when I notice that a person is having difficulty trusting it, and you, you'll see it in their eyes, a roll of their eyes, or you'll see something, I just pick up the cue card and I'll say, okay, let's have you just go ahead and say this with emotion. And, and so they say, I trust my intuitive intelligence to clearly communicate my needs. And I say, that's fantastic. Let's go ahead and say it again this time. Say it like you really mean it. And I don't give them an explanation for why we're doing this once we're in the testing. I will provide an explanation of the importance of mental conditioning, but they're relying in, on you as the coach to coach them through it. So you don't really have to explain yourself, but have these cue cards out there. And as you get cues from them about areas that they're uh, having doubt or if they're expressing, let's say, for instance, exasperation in in getting the feel for it or in their technique, then whip out cue card number four, the speed at which I'm learning this is fine. And this will help keep their mental uh, uh, piece of equipment in good working order so that it is not um, negatively influencing uh, subsequent test results. And that makes sense, right? Okay. Uh, let's see, what else do I want to talk about? Um, Food supplement dispensation. There's, um, and we talked about this on the uh, DVD on nutrition testing, where we mentioned that a person's uh, lifestyle uh, uh, limits have an effect on just how tailored we can get in a nutritional supplement program. Like I would recommend three times a day if everybody had the lifestyle that supported that and the, uh, the, the habits and or the ability to uh, be that committed to a nutrition program. But generally, most of the people that you test have already been taking supplements, correct, Linda? Correct. Okay. And so what we want to look to is their uh, current lifestyle habit. If they're only taking supplements once a day, I would recommend that you uh, have them step up to supplements two times a day because it makes a much better uh, a result when people take supplements according to their circadian rhythms. But if a person's already at two times a day, I'm not necessarily going to push so hard for them to go up to three times a day, even though three times a day would be better, unless it's something that would easily fit into their lifestyle. So, so there's a balance, again, between the customization and at the same time um, not making it um, so customized and so complex that it all falls apart just because it's too complex. Like, for instance, you know, you know on some supplements they say take them uh, before meals. Other supplements ta say take them after meals. Uh, I like to recommend to clients that, you know, consider this as your food, as your power food to augment the uh, somewhat depleted food that we have in our, our food supply these days. And when you're taking these foods, if you take them, regardless of whether you take them before, during, or after the meal, if you can just remember to take them sometime around a meal, then that's going to be a whole lot better. And so one of the things I, I want to caution on, Linda, is making the program a little too complex for them. And have people be okay with forgetting to take their supplements when you follow up with them as well. You know, if I ask a person on a scale of 1 to 10, you know, on a scale of 1 to 10, how good, how well are you taking your supplements? And if they say, well, I'm at about a 7 or an 8, then that's fantastic because it's a whole lot better than where they were at. And as they continue to do it, they can get better at it, of course. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. Uh, also, um, <clears throat> If you go to our website, makeperfectchoices.com, and uh, go over on the left, you'll see uh, a gray area that says resources. And if you click on the one that says for everyone, uh, there will be uh, an item down the row called supplement dispensers. And um, if you click on there, then you'll go to what's called James's favorite picks. And I don't make any money from this company. It's a third-party uh, uh, company that has, they, they must have at least 200 different supplement dispensers. But what I did is I went through them and I selected my favorite ones. There's about five or six different supplement dispensers that are um, 
that are uh, tailored to people's differing lifestyles. A construction worker is not going to carry around a dis uh, supplement dispenser, but they may be happy with sticking a little packet in their pocket, right, in their jeans when they go to work. And so uh, one of the things that I recommend <clears throat> is that you have these uh, dispensers on hand because one of the things that, that we found, and you've heard me say this before, but I'm going to say it again, is that traditionally the weak link in uh, any supplement program has, pe has been people remembering to get the product from the body to, uh, from the bottle to the body, right? Okay. And so what I recommend is that you purchase these online from this company and have them available for sale. So, it, you know, enough to make a little bit of a profit and cover your shipping as well. Uh, but this is an area that uh, if you take uh, the time to set people up if they're not already set up with something, and even if they are set up with something, if you show them some of the other options that are out there, they may go, hey, I think this one will work a little bit better for me. Then again, what we're doing is we're continuing to tailor their supplement dispensation not only to their individual nutritional needs but also to their lifestyle needs. It's under, if you go to makeperfectchoices.com and then you see on the left side uh, resources and then underneath that it will say for everyone and if you click on that link for everyone, I think it's number 10 or somewhere down there, if you go down there you will see supplement dispensers. Also, the one above that Oh, okay, you see it now. Gotcha. Also, the uh, link above that, that's another great link. Uh, if a person, uh, if your client uh, has uh, more than uh, one family member, if there's two, three, four family members, they have to have Microsoft Excel to use that resource, but it's a family supply calculator. And basically, it will calculate based on everybody's different nutritional uh, uh, consumptions. Uh, what it is that needs to be ordered uh, on a once-a-month basis so that uh, that enough product is being ordered so that nobody runs out, okay? Okay, the next thing that I want to go through is uh, the laminated pouch. And so I'd like for you to go ahead and pull that out of your, uh, your materials and then uh, flip it over to the page that says your body doesn't lie. And that's that book by um, John Diamond. Oh. <laughs> yeah, where does it start and where does it end? Who knows? Wherever you want to put your finger. Uh, and as you can see, we have those. Um, we have these uh, uh, what we call uh, doctor's reference flashcards. Uh, books written by doctors. You're, you're very familiar with this because we've had these out for a while. What we've decided to do is put these all in a, uh, a single uh, key ring type location pouch where uh, these are, by the way, these two books are the books that I use the most. Uh, your body can talk and your body doesn't lie simply because they emphasize a person's test result when I pull them out which I do from time to time when I'm testing, because I want people to tie this muscle testing in, their ability to trust it according to third-party credibility. And these titles that your body can talk and your body doesn't lie, of course, are good titles for that. And as you can see, we also have the other ones as well, Test and Grow Healthy, uh, Eat Right for Your Type uh, by Dr. Peter Diadamo, Truth versus Falsehood uh, by Dr. Hawkins. And uh, this is a good one, Breath of Life, for, uh, for Christian believers. Um, this is written by an Anglican uh, minister uh, by the name of John Huggett, and it, it helps give people um, uh, uh, um, reassurance and confirmation that, uh, that, their, that muscle testing is a, an appropriate um, uh, type of science to use. Uh, the next couple of panels, Why Supplement Our Food?, and your unique melting pot. These two panels right here are what I use in a screening situation